Welcome back to Skibbity Tech. In today's video, I will show you how to install Scarlet or eSign and Feather on iPhone and iPad. Plus, I will show you how to fix if you can't install any eSign or Scarlet app in your iOS device. This one was my last video where I explained how to install eSign app, but now as you can see, when I want to install eSign app, it does not work anymore. So in this video, I will show you how to fix can't install eSign app and what to do to let it work for a long period of time without getting revoked. The free and easy method is you have to reset your device. Simply open your settings, then first of all make sure to back up your data. You can do that via iCloud, or you can save your data to your computer as well. Then open General, and then hit Transfer or Reset iPhone, then hit on Erase All Content and Settings, then hit Continue, and then hit Erase iPhone. After resetting your device, now set it up and then open this website. Then hit on Try Now and then simply sign up with your details. Once you sign up then scroll down and then hit on Next DNS for iOS. Then give device name and hit download. Then hit allow to download the profile, now simply open settings, then install the downloaded profile. Now go back to the same website and you will see all good notification. Now on the same website simply hit on top, deny list. Now you need to add these links to the deny list. I will put the links in the description. Simply add them one by one. After adding the link, now simply close the Safari page and then open the Safari again and then open this website. Then scroll down and then hit on version history. Then hit the top download to download the latest version. Then hit on add shortcut. Now hit on everything sideloading shortcut, then hit installers. Now choose whatever you want to install. I will select eSign. Then choose the certificate you want to use to download eSign. I will choose Sunshine. Then hit Always Allow, and then simply hit Install to install eSign app in your iOS device. As you can see now eSign app is installed properly. Now simply open Settings, and then open General, and then open VPN and Device Management. Then simply trust the Sunshine Group to let eSign app work in your iOS device. Now the eSign app will open without any problem. Now we need to add the eSign certificate. Open the shortcut app again, then open everything sideloading shortcut, and then hit on play button. Then hit on certificates, then hit on eSign certificates, then download the Sunshine certificate, because we installed the eSign app with Sunshine certificate. Then simply hit open to save Sunshine Certificate in your iOS device. Once you have the certificate, now simply open the eSign app and then hit three dots on top. Then hit import and then choose the Sunshine Certificate. Once it's imported successfully, then hit on the Sunshine Certificate and then hit import certificate management. Once imported successfully, now you are good to install any IPA file in your iOS device without any problem. Simply hit three dots again and hit import 
and then choose your IPA file you want to install. Then hit on import. Once your IPA file imported, now hit on apps, then select your IPA file, then hit signature. Then hit signature again. Once it's signed 100% now simply hit install to install your IPA file in your iOS device. If your eSign and sideloaded apps start crashing, when open this is a known bug. The only fix is to delete all crashing apps and reinstall using another certificate. Best way to avoid is to turn on airplane mode before restarting the device. As you can see now, or eSign app is working properly, and the IPA file is installed also and working properly, without any issues. That's it for today. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.